the Coolidge Cricket Ground Antigua. Now home to Cricket West Indies, but a place with a shady past and an embarrassing one for the ECB. That's because this was previously the Stanford Cricket Ground, owned by Texan Sir Alan Stanford, the billionaire who bought English cricket. In 2008, Sir Alan Stanford landed his helicopter at Lords. He agreed a five-year deal with the ECB to play an annual $20 million winner-takes-all game between England and a West Indies eleven. England flew to Antigua that autumn. They were bowled out for 99 and thrashed by 10 wickets. Stanford then had to apologise to the England players after being pictured with their partners. The following year, the Texan was indicted for fraud. It transpired that he conned investors out of $7 billion and spent their money. Stanford is currently 10 years into a 110-year jail sentence, but he's left his mark on Coolidge. Here on the east side of the ground stands the Stanford Bank, where he stored and spent the billions of dollars he'd conned from his victims. And this here was his villa, right on the boundary rope. You can still see the swimming pool. It remains, but like his wealth, it's all dried up. The villa is now the offices of West Indies Cricket Board. We came together with the uh, government of Antigua and Barbuda and, and acquired it off the receivers um, in 2017 and rented the ground for three years and have now completed the full acquisition. So as you probably saw when I arrived in Antigua in 2017, there was grass probably up to your waist and, uh, and cows grazing um, and it was a sorry sight really it's in such it's one of the first things that visitors to Antigua will see when they come from the airport so uh, for them now to drive past and to be, be an internationally accredited stadium and in, in such good condition is obviously great for us and you know great for the country and and hopefully it's an asset not just for Cricket West Indies but for Antigua and Barbuda and for the whole region because yeah, we've got such ambitious plans to put this right in the centre of how we're going to produce world-class cricketers for the future. There are a lot of plans um, in place, most importantly for High Performance Centre. Um, state of the art, similar to what you would get in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and, and the UK. Another thing that we hope to do on um, the left side, the airport road side, um, is to build a state of the art TV production multimedia centre. Coolidge, a place with a dark past, but a bright future. James Cole, Sky Sports, Antigua.